So here we are at the 2010 Extraordinary Te Technology Conference in Albuquerque, New Mexico, held at the Marriott Pyramid Hotel. Uh, everything was really very, very well handled by the hotel. I recommend it for any convention. Uh, it was about a 12-hour uh, drive from uh, Glendale, Arizona to uh, uh, Albuquerque, and this was in northern Albuquerque. Uh, some very good places to eat. Uh, enjoyed ourselves very much, and I want to thank uh, many people, uh, starting with Marco Roden, Steve Ellswick, Big John, the R R AV thing, which he had his problems galore. Um, I want to also thank Bob Boyce for uh, talking to me after my presentation, as well as visiting me many times at my table. Also, Jack Schultz at uh, Ace of Clubs. Uh, he was located right next to me. And you're seeing here my table. And uh, right next to it is would be uh, uh, Jack Schultz's table. And I'm demonstrating here the uh, motor made by Sky Collection using my Starship. This is a young man who has a plasma uh, generator, a couple of plasma tubes he displayed. And uh, uh, it worked real well. And uh, he, it was interesting. Uh, Jack and I had all the action, so all the other exhibitors kind of grouped next to us and everything. And... Uh, uh, really, uh, it, the, the four days went quite fast, and um, I started out standing up and then decided, this is a sit, sit down. This is Peter Limberman. Um, we didn't know he was going to be there. There's a lot of health products that were displayed, and um, very few finished products, though, things that actually worked. Uh, mine and Jack were products that worked. This is another health uh, table, and like you can see, there was a lot of health providers. Now, these are finished products. But I don't class them in the uh, extraordinary uh, science thing. This is my grandson, Derek, and he's winding uh, a Starship coil. And in fact, we sold out of our, all of our Starship coils. And he wound them until we ran out of wire. And uh, here's a nice demonstration on how easy it is to wire. And um, uh, he was a great help uh, at the show. Again, you can see one of Sky Collection's video running there. This is one the coil that Jack brought. This is based on the Randy Powell math, and we tested that. Uh, and, and Randy was there, and very nice guy. This is a another uh, Starship coil made by Jack Schultz. Interesting, the magnetic fields are in the pedals. There's nothing in the center. Quite unique. And this is the uh, his uh, uh, generator controller for his motors. Uh, he calls them ASIC clubs. Uh, Jack's been doing this for a long time. He's located in Hawaii. This is a his charge bank of super caps and uh, on the other side he has the run uh, uh, module of super caps and he has used a spar starship coil to run this uh, motor continually switching between charge and recharge eventually of course it goes down there's me with my soldering gun a lot of stories to tell you about what went wrong initially for myself and um, anyway we did so and Jack loaned me a MOSFET I, I, I managed to burn the MOSFET out right away and luckily he had one. It worked. It wasn't the exact one I, I had in there, but it still did a pretty good job. And here's the internal uh, uh, workings of the fellow who had the plasma generator. You'll see an electron tube over there. You'll see his coil. Uh, there's a, a variable capacitor in the circuit there. And um, many, many lectures. I unfortunately only got to go to two. Uh, one I would have to tell you was great was John Searle. It lasted four and a half hours. Uh, uh, I don't buy in everything he said, but um, I, I, I grant him uh, the highest marks for showing up and displaying. This is the ASIC Clubs motor. He's using a Roden motor at this point, and uh, he had that running. He also had the spinning balls. You can see in the center uh, my Starship coil, which he ended up using in his presentation. Um, everybody was very friendly. Uh, Paul Panatone of Geet Fuel Processing was there. Uh, Paul demonstrated uh, his... Uh, Geet system outside. It didn't appear that he had anything new to show. This gentleman, unfortunately, uh, at the last moment, changed over from XP to Windows 7, and his software wouldn't run the demonstration, so he couldn't do anything. Kind of a sad, sad situation. I uh, wonder what Bill Gates has to say about that. I would like to see this operate. Uh, going back to John Searles, uh, there was nothing that was completely working, but there was in, in some interesting mock-ups. Uh, definitely it's a technology we cannot duplicate ourselves. Here again is my bench with the Starship and then my over Unity is to the left. Uh, gentlemen looking there. 
And here's the MOSFET that uh, uh, Jack loaned me. Thank God he did loan me because I thought I loaded seven extras and I didn't. I hooked up the, the pulse generator to the, <laughs> to the drain instead of the gate. What a stupid uh, stunt that was. Uh, but uh, it, all, it all did work out pretty nice. And here's kind of looking as you come down from the entrance down there, you see all the tables. Uh, we had like 300 plus people there, double what I expected. This is again my, my grandson Derek showing the hydrogen, uh, my dry cell, hydrogen cell. Uh, Derek's picked up on this stuff real quick. Uh, he was able to explain everything that was going on. There's my wife Nancy in the middle and one of the customers uh, that comes back many, many times. These people would revisit you many, many times. Again, we're looking at the, the temporary MOSFET uh, end channel that is running the, the power rod. And the switches will demonstrate how we can go from over unity to, inter, uh, to under unity. Uh, I, ha I had a fan mounted, and I'm glad I did because that was just because I wanted to be safe at the show. Anyway, we were limited in this particular amount of current out of the circuit with about 12 volts in. Forget about that minus sign, just had the leads reversed. And uh, getting about 10.5 amps out. Uh, when I got back, I actually I sold the rotom coil and the power rod off the board, so I had to wind and, and add another nut coil back in there to get testing again. So I wanted to see how much better the MOSFET I was using was jacks. So again, this is the jacks. We're looking at four amps uh, drawn, 10.3 amps uh, created in the in the power rod, and here and it's 1.889 volts across the uh, the uh, Starship load. And here in a minute, we'll have the, now we're, by just changing the MOSFET, not changing anything else, we're drawing 4.1 amps, but now we have 15.4, uh, quite an increase there, about 5 amps. So, and there you can see the correct MOSFET mounted on the uh, heat sink. And uh, let's see here, so much to say and everything. Uh, anyway, this is now my, my audio video studio has become my uh, Starship studio. And uh, that little thing you see there in frame, that's a long story. It has to do with the Phoenix Lights, long story. And uh, I, eventually I'm going to publish the truth about the Phoenix Lights. So what's next for us here, uh, HHO for Volts? Uh, I am forming a new company. And uh, it's going to be called, and surprise, Starship Interface Home Power Systems. Or, for short, Ships. What else? And uh, what's great here that we uh, will be offering ready-to-use Starship coils. And we also offer a custom wine for you, uh, and two complete off-the-grid power systems. You're going to see this in probably two or three months. We received our first order at the show for one of these power systems. Thank you for watching. It is HHO for Volts at Starship Ener Energy Labs.